a continuous function from a topological space to another topological space is called an embedding. Uh, if it is a homeomorphism onto its own image, right? So it means that f should be uh, continuous. f should be one to one, but not subjective. Generally, it, it is not assumed to be subjective as f is one to one. Uh, and since f is not assumed to be subjective, it means that f of x might not be the whole y, right? So, but if you restrict, if you just look at f of x, at the image of f, um, then if you, instead of considering f as a function from x to, to y, you take the function from x to f of x, then it is going to become a bijection and you can take its inverse, which is defined from, um, so the domain of the inverse of f is going to be the image of the original f back to x. So this is also going to be a continuous function, right? So this is a continuous function from f of x to x. And so this is what it means. Now, uh, what are examples of embeddings? Uh, for example, a circle um, is embedded into um, uh, into the plane. Yeah? So you, you can, well, usually we think of a circle as something that is already in the plane, right? But, um, you know, in, in topology, very often it is convenient to work with kind of abstract uh, surfaces and probably an abstract circle. So an abstract circle is the following thing. So it is... Um, a closed interval where we just glued the two endpoints together, right? So we take the closed interval and we glue its endpoints together, right? So if our circle is represented by such a construction, it means that we have the interval 0, 1, and we introduce the equivalence relation um, according to which 0 is equivalent to 1. So we glue 0 to 1. Right, so, but then still, uh, you know, that there is a coordinate along the along the interval that we call T, and then we can map T to the point on the plane of cosine of two pi T and sine of two pi T. So this, this is X and this is Y, so on the plane X, Y. And this, this is going to be an embedding of this abstract circle to the plane. And then this embedding is actually the familiar cir circle that, that we learned about in probably kindergarten but be careful because if instead if you use the same um uh the same formula but now your t is not um an element of the circle but rather if your t is an element of the half open interval then this is not going to be an embedding so this is going to be continuous Of course, it is going to be one to one, but it is not an embedding because the inverse function is not continuous. And you know very well that um, um, a circle is, uh, for example, compact, but the um, half open interval is not compact, so they are not homeomorphic. Well, uh, surfaces, well, not all surfaces are, can be embedded into the 3D space, but remember that from lecture um, lecture one, we saw a number of uh, surfaces, like for example, the torus. So the torus can be thought of, um, again, an abstract construct. So it is um, a square with two pairs of opposite sides glued to, to each other. So such an abstract torus can be embedded into the 3D space, sorry, 3D, and the image of that embedding is the familiar donut shape torus. Uh, and more generally, so any connected sum of uh, tori, it can be uh, thought of as an abstract space, right? So it can be thought of as just um, its plane model, but it can also be embedded into uh, into the 3D space, right? So more generally, so you can have something like this. And 
and this is an embedding of the connected sum of fourth order into the 3D space. But notice that, uh, for example, if you think of, it, of the Klein model, so the familiar picture of, of the Klein model that looks like this, It is not an emitting because it fails to be one to one. So at this part where the kind of the tube goes inside, it intersects itself. So here it fails to be one to one, not one to one, right? Uh, so generally speaking, uh, something like this. So something that is almost everywhere and embedding, but the, there is some um, exceptional set on which your surface intersects itself. This is called an immersion and is studied in differential topology. So it is not the subject of our class, but it's just for your information. Right? So immersion, so the notion of immersion is studied in differential topology. And so, uh, and it can be proved, so it is true that um, the Klein model cannot be embedded into the 3D space, and the projective plane cannot be embedded into the 3D space, but they can be embedded into the 4D space. But the, the proof that they cannot be embedded into the 3D space is, is quite quite tricky. Uh, so you need to know a lot of machinery from algebraic topology to, to do that. Right? But um, if you make a hole in, in the Klein model, then you got your embedding, right? So if, say, if instead of the whole clan bottle, you make the entire clan bottle, you make a, a little circular hole here, then the whatever remains can be embedded into the 3D space. Um, 